Oh, had nuts, no handshakes. I ain't trying to be affectionate. I be with them I know gon' ride most definite. Uh, I make a mistake, I correcting it. Favi. Perfectionist. Ah, uh, yo. So that was good, y'all, man. Let's be back to another game. Video. This time I got Life is Strange. I think this is episode four, bro. I don't got shit else to say, so I'm not finna waste nobody else's time. We just finna hop into it, bro. Y'all gotta understand where y'all watch my gameplays. I'm gonna pause if I wanna talk my shit, bro. Let me just get that disclaimer out right now before one of you niggas tell me, if you pause one more time, like, okay, bro. Not trying to hear that shit. Go watch one of them other niggas that don't be talking about nothing. Damn, was that a diss? I wasn't trying to diss. I'm just saying. They don't be yapping like I do. Somebody said, in terms of volume, you don't be talking about nothing. And when I say volume, I mean like amount, not, not, not loudness, bitch. Not decibels. Thanks. You know, I I I give up. I'm not even finna try to fight the copyright no more. I'm not even finna try to fight this shit no more. It's over with. That is ridiculous. This shit remind me of this movie my English teacher made us watch. I don't really know what it was called, but it was like some little kid that could talk to whales and they kept washing up on the beach and then the nigga went out to sea with some family. The boat got fucking capsized with the whale. Did the nigga turn into a whale or did the whale save him? I, I can't remember, but the, our English teacher showed us that movie. I don't even know what for. Maybe they just wanted us to write an essay on the shit. Mm. Trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm not laughing at Chloe, y'all. Stop it. I was laughing at this comment somebody left. Uh, they, they, it wasn't on my video, but I had seen it. Somebody said that Karma didn't let her get away with trying to steal that handicap fund. Damn, bro. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. Mm. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Somebody said, stop digging in your nose. Bro. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Mm. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. All right. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. I don't know what the fuck See? that is around like her head. Without you here, I'd have no clue. Is it like traction? Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Yeah, I don't understand how that's happening. I kind of know how they feel. Mm. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. Oh, I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. Mm. I can do that. Along with my parents. Right. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Blame William. What the fuck? Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? Why the fuck would I blame William, bitch? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Damn! Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Ooh. And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Ooh. When I woke up in the hospital, I... Literally couldn't move a muscle. Mm. Jesus. I, I I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Who was it this time? Who? A missing girl. I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is... Such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. It's a totally different universe, but the same shit is still Max. happening down there. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? Mm. 
It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. It's good I'm that you hate it. that word. Please, don't ever say it again. I'm speaking for both Chloe's, goddammit. <laughs> don't ever say that shit again. Bro, one of the reasons... I'm not even finna try to get spiritual on y'all niggas, bro, but... One of the things that be fucking me up about religion and God and the universe and all that shit is, like... It be making me wonder, is fate real? Because you know if fate's real, that means we can't really change shit about what we do. We can, like, prolong it or do it quicker, but at the end of the day, the shit that we are destined to do... Destined by who, I don't know, but destined to do... We can't change from that shit. <sighs> It's a pretty high-tech layer. It's kind of fucked up when you think about it. It's like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. Y'all niggas need to look up the story of the monkey ball. it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Not unlike the other Chloe. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. <laughs> or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. I ain't gonna lie, working in a Thanks nursing home, you see a lot of people that's young like I, uh, this. <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? When you really think about like what it is, like a trach, all the medicine they gotta take, all the like all the shit that they go through. What the fuck? Where's the water at, bitch? Oh. Drink up, Buttercup. It kind of it kind of that shit sound empty. Oh no, man. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've. Kind of makes you year. face the you um, reality of how or something? fragile I wish humanity I could punch is. Your face right now. Oh, bro. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. <laughs> Ouch. It was just a thought. Oh my gosh. A pod in a cast? Stop. <sighs> yeah, that's become <laughs> a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. <laughs> I wish I could take us all the way oh back God. there again. Somebody cussed me out my comments on the other episode, bro. Oh, well, um, with your scientific that nigga said, mind, you might Dude, you should that. chill. If my Time best friend told me they don't want to think about us being best friends, I would be mad, Plus, too. he'd have to be my <laughs> living assistant. Oh, my gosh. To help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other Did you forget away. Chloe almost got us booked the night before? Did you forget that? Did you forget that we had broke into a swimming pool, swim in sperm and chlorine, and then got out and put our clothes on with the chlorine soaked underwear, and then had to hide from, like we we literally almost got booked behind Chloe. You think I wanna wake up next to her on some happy shit? No, I don't. I just didn't have the option to say, bitch, you're dumb, you know? And then she wanna keep, all right, bro. Yeah. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. My bad. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... Mm -hmm. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. Mm. Wow. Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. Little do you know! What parents are for. What? What do you even want me to say in this scenario? Y'all are just fucking melancholy, bitch. Somebody said, bro, she's a quad that has a, t a fucking hole in her throat. You would be melancholy, too. You right, bro. But damn, can y'all talk about something else? Are you lonely? Are they okay? They love you. I know she's lonely. Do you just want to see my concern to see if you're lonely? Are they okay? They're managing. Doesn't mean they're okay. They love you. Duh, like, we know the answer to all of these. What are you even talking about? I'll just ask you if you're lonely. I know this is a dumb question. I'll just ask you if you're lonely, bro. Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Mm -hmm. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Such is the life of a United States citizen. You know how go. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, 
No pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm when practically one. a human entertainment system. Okay, here you go at the... It would be sweet to chill out together and <laughs> watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. How the fuck do y'all, um... You would look incredible with blue hair. How the fuck do y'all cry to the same well, movie over and over again? I don't get and that. You better not fall asleep on me like you <laughs> always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. <laughs> not when you're here. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? Sound like you trying to fall asleep permanently or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I read that. Maybe I read that wrong. She has to use a lot of Bitch, that just get the shit out of me. Circulating. That just get the shit out of me. I don't even know why. Nothing but medical supplies. Mm-hmm. Bracelet. Y'all know y'all niggas know I was in CNA school, bro. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Oh bro. I was in CNA school, bro. It's it's really wow, so a humbling experience. Chloe uh, was a straight ace. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund, even if it wasn't another reality. Hold on, just real quick before I read this. When I was in CNA school and we had to do them clinicals, bro, when you be looking at these people in their face, a lot of them not even entirely conscious, bro, or they can't they can't talk, or they can't like breathe on their own, or some of them that got dementia, they don't really know what's going on, like. 99% of the time it's really it's really humbling and it's really fucked up and it really it's a really it's a really different experience bro uh, if you're not complete in your head or in your emotions, that job will fuck you up. I, I, I promise you. Like, it's not as simple as just turning somebody over and wiping their ass, even though that's what it is. It's just the implications of having to do that for somebody, when you really think about it, is fucked up. Like, it don't make me feel bad that I did it. It just makes me feel bad about the situation that the, the patient was in, if you know what I'm saying. Somebody says you violating HIPAA. I didn't say no names, bitch. Get off my dick. I was just exp I was just explaining my, my, my um experience with the CNA shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, these people can't take care of themselves. You got to do it for them. And it it actually pisses me off when I think about it a lot more because you got people who will purposely do dumb shit to make their job quicker, but it ends up fucking up the person that can't take care of themselves in the first place. Like, just just to talk shit a little bit, there's this thing called a bed sore, right? And basically what it is, it's just a pressure sore. If you lay in the same spot for a prolonged period of time, anybody will get a bed sore. It don't matter how young or old you are. It's just the older you are, the more fragile your skin gets. So you're definitely susceptible to that shit. What happens is they get pads. They got bed pads that they put under the uh the patient um to keep them from like the abrasiveness of a sheet number one number two is just the pad kind of wiggles so it keeps the skin on different levels so trying to once again not allow that shit to bed sore up but another thing that you're supposed to do is you're supposed to turn them from side to side i think every two hours or some shit like that it might be more often than that but um there's another thing which is with the diapers when you don't change somebody that's in a diaper, not only does the does that shit become like I don't I don't really know the process of it, but sitting in a pissy or shitty diaper will turn abrasive. You will get a bed sore, and that shit will become infected, which will become necrotic. And then you will you will if it gets bad enough in some places, I've seen pictures of this shit. If not seen one in my face. It will get so bad that you will see that shit decay to the bone, bro. And so it does not have to be like that. That is straight up neglect. When when anybody, if y'all got family in a nursing home, I want you to know right now, if they have a bed sore, that's not something that just happens. A diabetic wound is entirely different from a bed sore. If they have a fucking bed sore, that is straight up neglect, bro. Because all a motherfucker has to do is keep them changed, make sure that they, they flipped every once in a while, keep their sheets from being wrinkled, shit like that. That motherfucker will not get a bed sore, bro. And in my recent job, uh, motherfuckers did this thing called double diapering, where you will literally put a diaper on top of a diaper instead of changing the motherfucker out of their diaper. So it looks like you did your fucking job, but you didn't. What happens is one diaper is already abrasive enough. You put another, you put another diaper on top of that. Not only do you have double abrasiveness from the diaper, but then the 
remember the bed pad I was talking about? The whole fucking purpose of the bed pad is keep, is to keep the body from just like sitting flat and getting like stuck into the sheets, and so your your blood can circulate the right way. Nigga, when you put two diapers in between the pad, the pad isn't even doing its job anymore, bro. So that shit will lead to a bed sore. That is neglect, bro. Basically, when I when I when I I didn't take the test to become certified. I passed my CNA class, but I never did take the test. But when I was doing this shit, it made me so angry because I just remember. <laughs> I know it's a hard job, bro, but these is people, family members, these is people that cannot take care of themselves at the end of the day. It don't take much to just look out for another human, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah, I was just thinking about that while I was, yeah. Um, dear Mr. Price and Mrs. Price, as principal, I am in sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class accessibility. Uh, Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full compliance under the Americans with Disabilities Act. However, given that the campus and the building have all been reconstructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern renovations necessary to fulfill all the needs of your daughter and her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cuts in education, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy. But that day will come. So what that fund was for? So what that fund was for? It was laundered. On bro, that shit was laundered. On bro, that shit was laundered. Now, in the last episode, I was like, damn, I didn't even think about it actually being handicapped funds. I just immediately thought it was laundered. I was correct. It was laundered. Um, Chloe is without a doubt an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap. And I believe she would find um, she would find a more fitting, rewarding, scholastic, is that how you say that? Uh, environment at the H. West Miskatonic institute in bolton i don't know what the fuck a miskatonic is they have a rich legacy of disabled graduates and i know that chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in more comfortable surroundings i don't give a fuck get off my get off my screen i was just trying to read that shit to figure out why um why she said that well, i can't look at the picture bitch look at it there you go i'm glad i took this photo chloe has a new memory of william and her together what is what am i supposed to be doing right now oh my god I made that mix for her when we were 12. <laughs> oh, here's the DVD. Good shit. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. Mm. I should have kept more in touch. Damn. Life just passes motherfuckers by sometimes, bro. This shit is crazy. I had a friend who almost, something almost happened to him. And we hadn't talked for like years, bro. But when that shit happened, it made me really think back like, damn, motherfuckers supposedly close, but I ain't talked to your ass in so long. In the moment, I regretted all that shit, cause I'm like, damn. You know, folks is woo woo woo, but you know. You lay in the bed you make, bro. Because I had the choice to talk to motherfuckers. I just didn't. And I still don't. <laughs> I don't talk to nobody. I'm going to be honest with you. I still don't talk to people. I be out the way. I deleted all my social media. I don't talk to niggas. If something happened to niggas I was cool with, I'd probably be like, damn, I wish I spoke to folks. But shit, I'm making an active choice right now to not do it. Shit. Life passed by for other motherfuckers. They live in their own shit. I'm living my own shit. Which is what it is. It's not a bad thing that people grow apart. It's just... We tend to regret not being as close to motherfuckers sometimes. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. Won't you just sleep? You. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Who? What? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. <laughs> you are a bitch in the morning. She's a it's bitch 24-7. That's what she is. That's what she do. That's just her person. She's a snappy motherfucker. Yesterday was such a blast. She's just it a nippy great. motherfucker. That's what she do, bro. Seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Bro, no. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, 
Can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? Mm. I'm on it, Chloe. I knew it was morphine before she even said it was morphine. Fuck no. Damn, well, dog. Hey, William. Um, <laughs> am I bothering you? Why, well, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Um. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. I'm she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. Mm -hmm. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Bruno. Insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. Mm. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Dude, say you get it, bro. Being around you and Joyce again is... I didn't even see Joyce. Uh... So nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I mean, there's whales on the beach, so I don't know. You, 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 might, you, I don't know. Mm, get it out. You think it's still Rachel Amber missing? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber? Oh, yeah, she went to Blackwell, She's still missing? Ah, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday it's still her what do you think the is fuck? going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying nobody knows right it is nostradamus type shit pardon my french but all i actually care about now is chloe and joyce my family oh bro can't even blame you the press card why would i ask him about it why would i ask him about another family he just said what family he cares about my bad bad news my bad what do you think about that my bad. evil next question Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. The fuck is that? I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. <sighs> it was so great talking with you again. Fuck <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. <laughs> Folks, no. Why is Victoria texting me? Oh, yeah, in this world, we cool. Damn, the girl sticky, like, Lord. Victoria is fucking sticky, bro. I ain't talk about cooch. I'm talking about, like, damn, girl, like, get off my dick a little bit. Ain't nobody mad at you. <laughs> and a damn snail. That's a fucking faucet. What is wrong with me? How is it so dark in here, but so my clothes are so light? I got my own goddamn. All right. Mm. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Mm. Dr. Sevy. Nothing here. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Oh, what up, Joyce? Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. Yeah, shit, when you get old, oh, nigga, that's what happened. It's nice waking up <laughs> in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the... Accident. How are you doing, Joyce? Fucking barking, I'm me, doing bitch. the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, mm. but 
Nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Oh, bro. Why would I ask her about David? She probably didn't know who that is. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. <laughs> you know the feeling. Honestly, excuse me. I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. Mm. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you <laughs> know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Mm. Stay away from his son, Nathan. <laughs> oh, bro. I have to tell twice. you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute no when difference. they gang up on poor old me. No difference. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. Mm. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much. And she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Mm -hmm. Her respiratory system is very weak and she, she, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. oh, choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. I'm surprised y'all don't walk around this bitch with mask on. One. She probably no wouldn't like what? that though. That's I why. better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Ugh. The bitch locked in. Hell no. At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. What? Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Mm. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Get me the fuck up out of here. Go get this damn girl a shot, bro. I'm tired of fucking okay, till my damn legs hurt after I be done recording this shit. Motherfucker just be sitting around walking, talking. I'm not gonna say fucking. I'm not gonna say fucking. What? You're not gonna say what, boy? Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. Mm -hmm. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price, ever. <laughs> Boy, when when Max walked across that screen so fast, boy, I thought she was naked. Them pants look just like her skin color, bro. At a at a at a fast okay? blurry did. I was like, what the uh, fuck? Where the pants go? Oh Shit, fuck me up for a few seconds. Look how little we are there. 
We look like toys. Mm. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over our kid. Fucker wanna be a strawhead so chance. bad, bro. There's still time for you. Over it. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Thanks, finna teleport into this shit. Literally she? seems like yesterday. <laughs> she finna teleport into this shit right I now. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. I knew it. Maybe I could. I knew she was finna. I knew she was finna do that. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable mm -hmm. while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? You're saying shit, Joyce. Uh... I'm saying... That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. Oh no, she's saying I want you to put you me in my me misery. Feel that way today. My fault. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Mm. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to eleven. Boy, medical malpractice, your parents gonna come and sue the shit out of me. Got me fucked up. <laughs> That's not funny. I don't know, bro. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. Mm. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Right. Look at me. Mm -hmm. I'm at the mercy of everybody. Yeah. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Mm hmm Please. Help me, Max. Okay. Just real quick, real quick, real quick. I'm going to click accept just, just so y'all know. Um, Just real quick. While I was taking classes to get into the nursing program, they had me do a, a medical ethics class, bro. And one of the uh, big papers that we had to write about was should medical suicide be allowed, bro? Because of situations like this, you got people who be terminally ill, you know, they're not going to get better. And it's in a way, if you look at it, if you look at it like morally or somewhat religiously or some other shit like that, killing yourself or killing somebody is going to always be wrong. But if you look at it from the perspective of the person who is terminal, um, they know they're not going to get better. It's a whole bunch of shit that they cannot do no more. Every day that they wake up, they know that their life is slowly going downhill. It's not quick. So every waking moment is torture. You know what I'm saying? So we have to write a paper on why um why we either agree with medical suicide or why we disagree with it. I wrote why I agree with medical suicide because don't nobody want to live like this. You feel what I'm saying? You could try to make it seem like, yeah, my life good like this, bro. But uh, it's a lot of people that I, they not good like this, bro. So I, I wrote in favor of medical suicide being legalized because that shit is not legal. But yeah, I just wanted to say that real quick. Chloe, I'll just drift to sleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. The only thing is, it's kind of selfish for me to do this because the parents didn't have a say. They probably not ready. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the fucked up part about it. But when you look at it from Chloe's perspective, she ready. And they, they weren't going to do it. So... Yeah. Mm. 
Boy, boy, boy. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never that. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Oh, bro. Oh, bro, little do you know. Mmm. R.P. Chloe Price. I'm sorry, William. Time to teleport. <laughs> I can't even see. Oh shit, I gotta do this shit again. Hold on. Hold on, Chloe. There we go. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Mm. Damn, you could have at least told her give that nigga a big Daddy. ass hug. Damn. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Damn, tell her to give him a big ass hug. Where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Mm. And no Chloe and Max want Damn. anything session. What you do that for? All you gotta do is not look into it and you won't teleport. Somebody said, bro, that's just to signify that she's over. Uh, okay, I get it, bro. My bad. She's never leaving me. I get it, bro. I don't actually have a problem with everything. I get it, bro. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and I'm a damn great near family. Your God. What's to be sorry <laughs> for? I'm damn near your Lord. We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, mm. whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Mm -hmm. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Mm. Yeah, back to David, bitch ass. Back to David, bitch ass. And William had a. Alright. He just had a nose on him. Hmm. <sighs> That picture was not there last time. Was it? No, it wasn't, because they didn't want us to know that that happened. That picture also wasn't there last time, though. It's obviously. Oh, okay. Need that nigga in his nuts. Fuck's now. The fuck was that? Boy, I thought that was my phone vibrating. That's the damn music. What was that fucking picture? Those are terrible drawings. <laughs> Get that off my screen. How the fuck did she end up back in here? Oh no, I'm in her oh, shit, yeah. my now bad. Now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Mm. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. That's exactly what the fuck Not happened. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. All right. Copyright strike, but I'm not even finna fight it. Not even finna fight it, bro. It's whatever. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. That bitch ain't never fucking up anything. <laughs> um. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? Weren't you just yelling at me about One, going over shit? Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Mm. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Bro, Which David will put you on your on shit, shit dude. Like My gosh. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. Mm. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. To who? Mm -hmm. And be careful of Step Crack. Step He's Crack is crazy. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday, and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Ugh. Ugh, bitch ass nigga. I can't. I don't know what you just said. I didn't know you were gonna speak, bitch. All right. What Joyce up in here doing? I know she ain't. Uh, 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 maybe not. It's the same day. Ain't nothing to say. Ain't nothing to you say. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, Bro. I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. <laughs> That self-righteous shit that he be doing kills me. That self-righteousness shit he be doing, it kills me, dude. Get the fuck over yourself. My God. I'm so sick and tired of that bitch ass nigga, man. Bro. Whoa. 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 Dude. Who the fuck is Justin? What? Who is Justin? Where did this come from? Uh, what the f who the fuck is Justin? Okay, but you can't keep secrets from H reporter Julia Watson. Hello. Such an emo queen that you didn't want anybody going with him to do it, but the you're even too much of a puss to enter your queen. It's all about Max. Okay. You another bitch that got that self righteous shit going crazy. You need to uh Ah. Uh. It looks like David finished his car. Whoa, is me as bitch. Maybe there's some new clues around. Somebody said Victoria just said that. That's where you got that from. You ain't never throw a motherfucker's shit back in their face. Yeah, yeah. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Libtard metrosexuals. Wish I had what? surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. I'm not reading it. I don't care. I'll pull it up so y'all can read it if y'all want There's to, but I'm not reading it. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. He did it to himself. Oh, that makes me sad. 
It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. I wonder if David is going to the party. What is my goal again? To find some new shit? Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? All right. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find. Oh. Whoa. Oh, the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. What consequences? Then put it back. I don't want it. Whatever consequences I don't want, put it back. Tell me you don't got time to look for the code. I don't. I for don't once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. What would you. What would you do? Like, is that a shower curtain? Oh, okay. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. I'm like, what would you do, bro? But here we go. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Yeah. Niggas is dumb. Why would you leave a crowbar around? Like, oh, okay. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Whoa! Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my door. What the fuck? Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Mm. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Oh shit, cutscene. They had that little Bob moving in the cutscene. I seen that shit. That little motherfucker did a... Here go, this a bitch ass nigga. I do not fuck with him. Is that a drone? It's a drone. Ugh. Granting, um, 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 Samil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. Get this bitch out of my story. face. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? Get this bitch out of my face. It's weird, just... Being on campus, like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. Whatever, I dude. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Get the fuck out of my no, face. I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So... You don't hate me for what I said Why to Why do you even school? care? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. That bitch still Just didn't take responsibility, the responsibility for what he did. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. He still didn't take responsibility for what he did. Be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, Please. you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. Alright, before you break a fucking hip in. Be seeing you. Bitch. Yes, you will. Fucking pelvis Hot missing. Poor teacher. Gross. Get out his dick. You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. Okay, she wanna throw Shut it back. Up. She wanna throw don't it back. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. She wanna throw I it am back. I'm so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. I'm gonna throw it back on that old bitch. Fuck him. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey, Brooke. How are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant caved and let me fly her again. So take a spin. I have to see what time I'm going to the drive-in with Warren on Saturday. Good shit. That sounds fun. It would be good for you and Warren to 
take a road trip after this week. Warren got a new car. Or an old new car. Right. So, I'm all about a serious road trip out of here after this week. Mm-hmm. Whoa! There go that fucking Tabanga shit. Tabanga bitch in the woods. Bro, are we using this for surveillance? Like, who are we looking for Nathan still? I don't see shit. That bitch doing the same trick over and over and over again. All right, get me up out of here. I don't care no Thanks. more. Thanks. Back again, Brooke. Are you sure you're all right? <laughs> I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? That bitch said, are you I sure? I was distracted by Warren asking me out to the drive-in. It's a school day, so <laughs> Nathan should be what around. What the fuck? I did see him this morning heading off campus. He looked more angry than usual. Mm. I wouldn't look for him now if I were you. Okay. I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes what and the theories fuck? this weekend. What the fuck? It's like this bit, bro, it's like this bitch is trying to get me riled up. I don't give a fuck about Warren, big head ass boy. What the fuck is wrong with you, girl? Oh my God. It's one of the things I don't understand, bro. As a, I ain't gonna lie, as a man, I'm gonna tell you this, bro. When you fuck it with a girl, you gotta figure out if she fuck it with you for competition's sake or for you sake. And I'm gonna just leave it at that. Bitches like to compete with each other. They don't even be liking the nigga they competing over. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I'm not talking to you no more. Talk later, that Brooke. Is Brooke. Good. Warren. Warren. I like, should bro, go back like, to get Chloe. Off, get off his dick. Another batch of dead birds. How are you doing, Max? Get off his dick. Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. Yeah. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I still have a million questions. I really questions should stop talking to people. It just makes my gameplay that much longer. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Miss Gant. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Mm. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. Mm -hmm. And Max, I don't like it at all. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't get shit else to say. I better get going now. Today. I don't get Sad. shit else to say. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. Ugh, Miss Grant talks smooth as hell. I fuck with it. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. So like game you and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Ugh. Ugh. So, you don't think this could be some kind of That's kind of a cold line. It's not a good Max, cold line, but still. You know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Mm. Unless you count those end of the world posters. Unless you know something I don't. I don't know. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. Mm. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. I don't got nothing else to say. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good, good, Makes good. me Focus. mad. Whoa! Whoa! Climate change isn't real my ass. Whoa! Mm. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Don't nobody oh, want that old bitch. Suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Somebody said, bro, 30 is not old. 
Ain't they 18? That's a 12 year difference. That's a decade. When I was zero, your ass was 12. Get off my dick. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Why would you even Wait want co-ed? Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. What's I won't the let signal? you down, Bat Max. What's the signal? Now I just have to find Nathan's room. <laughs> this is sounding like a damn deflating balloon, bitch. I tried to whistle. Fuck that dorm curfew shit. We're 18. What? Sit and shit. Okay. Can I has art? All right. Is that Victoria? Okay. Ah, jerks. No, it's not Victoria. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Who is that on the right? Bigfoot got up. Oh, wow. All right. Let me just keep it moving. This can only be Nathan's room. Then walk in. Of course. Well. Oh shit! She looked at that motherfucker quick as hell. Hmm. I thought one of them was fine. What is that picture in the middle? It should look like a humpback. What is now that? Now I need to find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. That look like a woman like running away, bro. Like, what's going on in that picture? Max, now that David's not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her getting mixed up in illegal crap like baking the back well or not. I know what happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looked like she's stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad, but she can't keep blaming David now. Oh my gosh, dude. Nathan likes she his torture she subjects. She want to know about that middle one, too. too. <laughs> oh, bro. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. I know it's been a stressful week. And your mother and I are here to talk if you need to be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out. I need you to be quiet. And Oh, I need you to be calm and quiet while appendices is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden. I'll guide you into this room step by step as I did my father. It was hard for me when my dad on my side destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shit all town is money. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. Mm. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Mm. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. <laughs> I mean, he's down in it with liquor, so even if it was meant to, he's on some other shit. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Probably him moving the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. What? Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. <laughs> all right. Uh, mm. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. I'ma just reverse everything for reverse shake. Reverse his sake. Yup, yup, yup. Cool, now it's open. Okay. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. Bitch. So what did you bitch, find? Bitch, I rewind <laughs> bitch, I rewinded all the way to the beginning to where I first bust that door down. That wasn't even a minute. What you mean? No, bro. Y'all didn't think I was going to rewind this room that. Is clean and creepy. I beat the system. I beat the system. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Can you, like, put that somewhere that he can't see it then? See? Just walked in right there. What are there. you doing in my dorm? Whoa, whoa. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Mm. That nigga again. Max. That nigga again. I got this. Whoa, you been practicing? Get the fuck out of my face. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Uh, you are so fucking dead. Not the blick. Not the blick. Get Grab that me, shit. Bro. Oh, what? Stay at that shit. Grab that gun. Hurt people, huh? Grab the like gun. Max. 
Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Right, this ain't about me. It ain't about me. Warren had to get his get back. Oh! Oh! Oh, that bitch still going! Oh! Get off of me! Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, shit! Please stop! Bitch ass nigga! He's down! Bitch ass nigga! Come on! Stop! He had to get his get back, bro. He had to get his get back. Sorry. He had to get yes, his get we back. Have to go. He had to get his get back. Who's the bitch now? He Chloe. had to get his get back. He had to. He had to. That wasn't even about me. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. Whoa. And it was good. But scary. Whoa. I'm not rewinding this shit. This really hurts. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn. He had to get his get back. That was intense. He had to get his get back, bro. Warren, uh, th thank that you wasn't so for much. you. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need <laughs> me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. Damn, my what boy feel bad. find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. Hell yeah. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. All right. Yes. All right. You are. All right, Nathan. I mean, Warren, calm it down. Damn. If he would have heard me slip up and say Nathan like that, he um. Man, that he guy been is like, so fucking in love with He would have been like, damn, I knew it. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Bro. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? If I say I got the money. Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I had to let I had to let Warren get his get back, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Somebody said, bro, Nathan is mentally challenged. Why would you let him whip on him like that? Bro, Nathan be whipping on motherfuckers like that. I hate seeing those poor whales. Can't like take that. what he dish? He a bitch then. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Mm. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe. Do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Hmm. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. Damn. About time. I am so going to hit you. Hmm. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. Folks, no. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me... And Rachel. Okay, Absolutely. so you feel better. You feel better about that? So because last episode you cool, was tweaking. Okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. She finna cock that bitch. Oh no, she ain't cock. <sighs> shit, nigga, this shit got my stomach like it's like the adrenaline rushing a little bit. I'm scared. What the fuck finna happen? It's like I'm it's like I'm in this movie movie. It's like I'm in this game doing this shit, bro. I'm scared, nigga. Hmm. Oh look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> but I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, <laughs> well why didn't you just tell me? Federal. How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk oh, to me. God. Like, you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. Oh. You expect everything for free. You're this not nigga, getting any handouts This nigga jumping off the edge, bro. I work for a living, you understand? All right. Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, all you're right. a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. Boy, and you what? want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm what? down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what Whoa. to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Like, bro, what's up with that physical <laughs> shit you keep wanting to do? Damn! 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 Damn, boy! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. No! You fucking killed my dog! No! Boom! Boom! Whoa! Oh my gosh. R.I.P. Biz, nigga. Yum, yum, yum. R.I.P. Biz, nigga. Mm. Now hurry up, get the information oh, that you no. gotta get, and then rewind everything. Chloe. I just shot a man and his dog. Hurry up, get in there, get the information you need, and rewind so she don't have to do shit. I killed Frank Powers. You happy or you sad? You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. <laughs> All right. Max? Frank is really dead. Can Max. I know, but we can't Please stop hurry now. up. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. <laughs> that bitch say, bra ba! <laughs> he shouldn't have been grabbing motherfuckers, though. That's it. Rewind. Let's get out of here. Rewind. Sorry, I'm sorry. Rewind. Chloe actually killed Frank. Hold on, hold She'll on. never forgive herself. Hold on, Chloe, give me that... Forget this. Give me that paper. And that bitch... Only I can change it. That bitch is it. not gonna give it to me. Okay, hold on. I was... She... Sh they did that on purpose. The game did that on purpose. They did that on purpose. They didn't let Max grab that paper because they knew I was gonna rewind and act like that shit never happened. They knew that. They knew that. I ain't gonna let folks die like that, but damn. Right. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. <sighs> Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Mm, watch your mouth. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. <laughs> or how you used to be. Lord have mercy. I can't believe she just popped both of their stupid ass. That's funny as hell. Mm. No fight. No fight. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. <laughs> so what do you want? Just the names. Oh, is that... It's just gonna be the exact same no. shit. You won't like this. But you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. You know it ain't no problem. Or at least give it to Max. Max, Max should probably handle herself, you know, but whatever. No, man. No, no, I'm not. Oh, Christ, I... Yes, Frank, without those Blackwell... Sh Down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Get off of me! Motherfucker! Whoa! Wow! 
Okay, 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 bro. I'm I'm just fucking all I'm fucking it all the way up. Why is he even up and blick on two look why is he even up and blick on two girls for no fucking reason? I don't get this. I don't I don't understand what his thought process is. How do you touch somebody first and then up blick when they alright, alright. Maybe he do need to die. Maybe he do need to go. I don't know. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally, I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? <sighs> Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking? After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. All right. God, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. All right, all you right. Act like you own this town. Bro, like come I'm on. Nobody owns me. Come you on. That? Oh my God. This nigga is doing it to himself. This nigga is doing it to himself at this point. Somebody said, "Dude, you rewinding." He doesn't know what he's doing. This bitch is so quick to fly off the handle. He just like Chloe. He's just a man with a, a, a gun. Why you want to fucking shoot so bad, bitch? All right, what what can I try now? I don't know what I can try now. Uh, he might just have to die. I don't know. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. <sighs> okay, okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of... Oh, is that... Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. What? There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank. This isn't about me now. Yeah, right. Okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah. You didn't come here to fight. A day after, <laughs> you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. Mm, mm, mm. I, I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit... He will bite your head off. <laughs> He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? What? <laughs> oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you <laughs> broke into my RV. That's how he got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait, that's oh not my God. what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! <laughs> what the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what All to right. do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! Oh my god! God! Mm. You, mm. you actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Mm. Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him. I know. You're both fucking crazy. What do you want? <laughs> we we just want the code for your account book. Now. You're fine. Whatever. Just just put the goddamn gun down. You already shot me, all right? There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just just get out of my life. <laughs> do you want us to call an ambulance or No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> oh my god. I'm talking about I wasn't gonna actually hurt you. Nigga, you choked me and then pulled out Blake. I'm not trying to hear Shit. that. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous uh... to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. 
All right, bro. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna try one more time. I just want to see if we can do this peacefully, bro. Because yeah, otherwise I'm gonna just you just gonna have a bullet in your leg, bro. I'm trying to spare you. I'm trying to. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right. It was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like like slaves. Weren't you participating at first, though? That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Weren't you engaging in that shit at first? Are you focused on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel photo, Rachel letter. If I say any of those top two, he's gonna flip the fuck out. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. I'm so Understand? tired of this man. Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I, I, don't, I don't trust like you this at man. all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. And he finna you? grab me again. That's what Chloe. the fuck I'm saying, dude. This is what the fuck I'm saying, bro. Come on, bro. One more time. One more time. Matter of fact, no. No. You know what? Fuck it. You just gonna be shot, bitch ass nigga. You just gonna be shot, bitch ass nigga. You did that shit to yourself, bro. You just gonna be shot. Big ass hole in your femur. I hope you never walk right again. You just gonna be shot. That's just gonna be what it is, bro. <laughs> you just you just gonna be shot, bro. This is, that's just what it's gonna be. I'm tired of your ass. I'm tired. I'm tired, folks. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. <sighs> I'm losing my fucking voice behind these games. I better bro. focus on this board and start tying these. Gather info on the character by selecting all the correct clues for each section. And there's a. Hmm. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. <sighs> you really got me doing puzzle shit. Okay, what is this? David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Huh? And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. What? What did I just do? I don't even know what just Let's happened. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. What did I just Tell do? Tell us everything. How? Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. You're interrupting Roger me. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. And then she interrupts herself. All right. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Come the fuck on, bro. Are you kidding me? Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. Three thousand dollars. He can open loan. a store. Okay. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day. Party supplies, no doubt. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Why do you want to... All right. mm. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to tell? Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. What in the hell do you want me to do? This makes no sense, Max. Suck a dick. Yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, 
That's it, Max. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Yep, another car David was tracking. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Who else was David tracking here? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Okay, T fucking W shit ass. Bitch ass, nigga. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Oh, fail. What Abort. the fuck you mean, fail? Wrong clues. Fuck, bitch. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number and match it up with I the just did. Oh, no, I didn't. My bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. I see it now. This makes no sense, Max. I see it now, my bad. That went the same car. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. What the fuck you mean, try again? This is his car. This is his car. And this is his fucking thing. Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Eat a dick. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Rock Hill. My fucking ears hurt. These shits hurt. These hurt. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. I, I must have missed something. Max, please. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Hey, Max. See if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. That's exactly what I need. Okay. You locked it, dumbass. So stupid ass up, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Oops. Bad code. And why are you rewinding with it? You just gonna keep saying the same shit? Oops. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. I'm just about to look it up. I'm not finna lie to you. I'm just finna look it up. I'm 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 done. I'm done. I'm done even trying. Oh my gosh. Of course. Of course. You know what? I don't even feel bad. I don't feel bad. I don't even feel bad. I was right there. I was putting this fucking month and year and not month and day. Oh god. Whatever. What up, Neat the G? Cool. Bitch, you sold me water. Calm down, bring it to me, bring it. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Mm. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. <laughs> You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. <laughs> Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. That boy was losing his shit. Tweaking off that... Tweaking off that K2. Or K12. Whatever the fuck it is. I think it's K2, fo. That damn in nigga smoking embalming fluid. Nigga. Hey, Max. See if you can put together all those Rubik's What the fuck else clues. do you want me to do? Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. What else do you want me to do? I'm so Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Oh my gosh. What fucking day was that party so, again? This infamous party okay, was, it was the on the 4th. 5 24. That was this night. When? There we go. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Mm. Not much out there. What was that? 10-4, 10-56. I think it's this one. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. That's the point. It's supposed to look Let's low key. Keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. It's supposed to be I'm low on key. This. Hold on. Are you dumb? Somebody named Harry Aaron. Pr 
Prescott. There you go. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? Yep. That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody. Do you get that shit? Together. Sofa platter. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. Mm -hmm. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just <laughs> the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. Mm. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. Good shit. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? I got a shit yes, so sir. bad right now. So bad. You know how niggas be doing the pee dance? I'm doing the shit dance right now. I ain't turtle heading yet, but boy, 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 boy. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Probably cameras here. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Who just pooed it? It wasn't me. Skiwell. Found the front door. Come on. How the fuck did you find that? Oh yes, Maximus rules. God, mm. this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Well, look at them pictures behind you. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. <laughs> Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. What? Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Boom town to what, nigga? What does that even yes, mean? Yes, old Prescott clip. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. <laughs> that bitch look like Neville from iCarly. Get this shit off my screen. This tractor has paid its dues. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. 1903 is crazy. Oh my god. I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not uh, be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect I do. We take your silence as a personal insult. I don't give a fuck about you in 1903. Y'all still was calling us inward. Bitch ass motherfucker. Okay. I can't even say N word. There's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Can't even say N word. Wow, you, sir. Yep. Mm, and look at that flag on the front. The you know what it is. Yep. Look at that flag on the front. You know what it is. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. What? That shit vibrated my controller when <sighs> I stepped on here. it. My ass, I just heard it. Oh. It just did it again. Zombie shows up, I have my weapon. It just did it again. There's something below me. Just rotting wood. Okay. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th. Yep, another one. There you go. Vibrate my vibrate limp. Yep. This gotta be something. It's too long of a cutscene to be nothing. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. Mm. Why? Boy, don't whisper in my ear like that. You just get the shit out of me. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Well, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to hold it. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. Yeah. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. It's trying to come out. 
It's trying to escape, bro. I'm not letting it. I'm not allowing it to. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Okay. You want me to look up and do it instead of looking at it and doing it, for sure. Set it off, I'm badass, but I'm not my cousin, boo. Uh. Here's the other end of the rope. That's alive? Oh, shit. Oh, what up, Al, folks? Dark room. This is the dark room. You just... The achievement just snitched on me. I'm in the dark room right now. The achievement just spoiled the game for me. I'm at the dark room. Why did they spoil that shit for me just now? That's fucked up. Hey, Chloe. Can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. That achievement just told me I'm at the dark room, bro. I will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Boy, when I tell you... Nope. Mm. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. It's getting difficult. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Thank you. are you doing Ugh, so why did you do that why did you do that i wouldn't have told you to do that no fucking way the hell do i got to tell chloe to attach it downstairs again because i rewind it hey chloe strikes again now just jump down okay never mind Ugh. that spider-man ass landing oh man i have to release this eventually damn this is heavy can't wait too much longer mm. what is this jackpot Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? Shysters. The Prescott, of course. I'm nodding my head to no beat to keep this shit from coming out my butt. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just in case you was curious. Oh my soul. This bunker is so surreal. You can do it, Max. Oh, it's 542, my bad. Yeah. I remember that from oh, that paper. Yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. No, I remember that from that paper, my bad. Open sesame. Um. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 what is that? Jesus, talk about tortured. Hello? Are these drawings or like, you know? What the fuck is that? That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. Oh my gosh. This has to be where those fucking um books that be at Jesus, the I already hate this place. you remember the books at the end of the first episode needles needles gross Ooh. this must be the crap that nathan gets from frank uh so who's using this fancy tripod you remember them books from episode one at the end of that shit this looks a lot like wherever the fuck that's at i'm expecting chloe to find those books at any second Maybe it's in the... fuck was that sound? Yep, I knew it. Yep, 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 yep.
Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No, Whoa. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Mm. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? What do you mean? Right? Chloe, Is she look dead? at her face. She's oh, out of it. Oh. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Um, I just saw drugs, so I don't think she's dead either. I just saw the drugs. Oh my God, Rachel, Kate, all these vials. This place actually feels evil. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what's in here. That's fucking Kate. Oh my God. No. Bro. Oh yeah, no, that nigga Nathan is sick. We knew that though. Oh, it's cutscene time. She's swinging at motherfucker. <laughs> this is not funny. This situation is not funny. But she's just swinging at big motherfucker. Damn. Girl, you better catch up. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Mm. Think they buried her? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? Boy, hell no. And I feel like Frank knew. I ain't gonna, I feel like Frank knew. Maybe he, maybe he didn't know. Maybe he didn't, but something is something make me feel like that nigga knew. Cause that nigga said, I knew her better than all y'all and I still couldn't help her. I'm just I guess I'm looking too deeply into the semantics, but I'm like, bro, that, that just seems like you knew, but you you feel like you couldn't do shit. What? Why is there dark matter in the sky? Two moons. Is he you dude? Like, do you hear the way he talk? What is that? Why does it have an erection? What is that on the left? Hmm. I'm about my business. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her, so we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Mm.
Rachel was not in the dark room. Shit. This is like that eclipse. <laughs> You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Whoa. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. Okay. You're not listening. Something major is going down. Yeah, that's, that's fucking right. huge. Nathan Prescott is going down. Uh. Wow. Uh, mm. It's a bit of a different Welcome look. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. This nigga drunk as shit. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. <laughs> well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Just hurry up and snap uh, it, dude. Action. There you go. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. You good, bro. You good. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. You you hey, good, Warren, bro. We still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Good shit. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Good shit. That boy drunk as hell. Stop slurping up more of it, dude. Oh. Hi, can I take your phone or anything? No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. I'm gonna have to sneak in. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Is that her? No. I hate touching all these clothes. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. <laughs> Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. Mm. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Uh. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money even mm. with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Damn. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I I just need to find Nathan. <laughs> and don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. Ugh. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Anybody else in here I could talk to? Hell no. All right, let me get up out of here then. Why do you love this song of all songs? This shit sound like uh this shit sound like a Sakuna um this shit sound like Sakuna dubstep. This shit sound like um this shit, this shit sound like a pop What is that image in the back? Did y'all see that? This shit sound like a pop version of Malevolent Shrine. Did y'all see that image in the back? to find 
find Nathan and take him down. Just Max. I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. Right back at you. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. Mm. I just hate that scrub and his club. But you here though. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the vortex. But now I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? I will. He left already, but we're going to map out our driving date later. That nigga drunk Warren as hell. I don't know. Dinner first, so that'll be fun. Is that cool with you, Max? Why are you asking yes, me? It's great. The fuck? Brooke, I'm happy for you. And Warren. I'd like to see you happy instead of waiting. Thanks, Max. Though I feel selfish talking about a boy considering Kate and the Arcadia Bay echo meltdown. You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. <laughs> Check to see if you can fly. <laughs> Stupid ass. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Oh yeah, there's a double moon out there. Is still young, Brooke. I saw so it. So are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Good. No! Angel is stuck up every single time. Protect me from the cruel world. Oh, Thank you again, Mystic Max. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section. Like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. <laughs> Watch out for yourself. Why? When I have Max Caulfield at my side. Good luck. They always fucking with Alyssa. I don't like that. But they didn't do that on purpose that time. It's just... Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being oh. a member. Oh! Oh! I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Mm. Need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. I gotta go talk to Courtney then. She don't even look like she having fun. Hey Courtney, how are you? Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it really must be the end of the world. <laughs> Get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP section. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be, mm. so excuse me. I hate your haircut. I hate your haircut with Great everything plan, in me. Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Probably around the corner. Damn. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who stopped the music, okay? <laughs> oh my god, DJ, DJ. Run across and hurry up and rewind. All right, come on now. Nathan is the vortex cop. So his ass has to be here today. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary. And of course, I saw them on the bus. That's not surprising. So he doesn't pull any fringe or something. Right. We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> look at Trevor trying to bust the move. Let me see what he's doing. Let me see what he's doing. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> he's so different than Logan. We actually talk about okay. life. Logan Paul? He like. Knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. And Warren, bust his he face needs in. Help, but not from his family. Mm. 
What do you know about his dad, Sean Preston? I see Victoria uh, right rich there. And rich? And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. And that's some real that gangster shit you say. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance though. Look at that. What is he I doing? Know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Absolutely. Should I warn her? Absolutely. Victoria, your picture. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Bitch. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party. Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. Mm. I'm not the only problem child at Blackwell. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Fish. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Look at me. I got the judge of the contest suspended. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. <laughs> Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Abaddon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have <laughs> asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? I'm telling her. I'm telling her. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling her. Listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so we could take her something in the dark. What? Nice try, mm. Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. And then be yes, the main motherfucker. serious meds. But that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint. And I deserve <laughs> it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous. Well, then can you listen to what the fuck I'm saying? Thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. Then He's act accordingly. And I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this Thank one Thank you. Time. My God. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Matt. There we go. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. You got I've it, big got head. Um, big bowling ball head, bitch. Text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Here she go with the au revoir shit again.
Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. I'm glad I warned her. Fuck my face, bitch. I hope she's okay. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh. Mm. Hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a... Get on my fucking bitch. face, oh, uh, bitch. I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Dude, yeah, get on my face. That makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. Shut up. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but... I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. Everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate Somebody literally it. just screamed. He's I so hot. Like, bro, get out of my ear with it. It's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Whoa! This is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. <laughs> and the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mm. Thank you so much. Can we skip this shit? I don't care. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Whoa, whoa. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. I was gonna say. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Pause. Me too. Pause. Let's go check out the drama. Pause on that statement, please. On that, please. On that one, pause it. My lord. Oh Christ! Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit! We have to go to the junkyard right now. Mm, mm, mm. What the fuck? That one, that one, what is that? Fucking Truman Show Moon. Like, what just happened? Um, is this the Truman Show for real? Look how fake. Oh, it's because it's in the water. Stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Fat ass rat. Come on. Nathan needs to die now. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Ooh! Bitch! Get off my dick with that. Creepy out here. This is your lair. This way you kick it at. Whoa. God, I want to fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, Max, I please can't hurry. Oh. Bro.
Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look close. You should probably take a picture, I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Ooh! No. Oh! Oh! Let me let me resume. I knew I knew I knew I knew this bitch ass nigga was so weird. He was that nigga was way too weird, bro. He was way too weird with that Kate shit. He was way too weird about that, bro. Did he just blow Chloe down? I was fully expecting that to be Nathan, bro. Did he just blow Chloe? I was fully expecting that to be Nathan, bro. But at the same time, at the same time. Shorty. Victoria didn't blackmail shit. Mr. Jefferson did that on purpose. Victoria didn't blackmail shit. Mr. Jefferson did that on purpose, boy. He was gonna pick her anyway. And he was gonna probably pick me anyway. If I had turned my photo in, he was gonna do that shit anyway, bro. Shorty, hell no. Can I skip this? Do I get a uh, a, uh, a trailer into the next episode? Probably not. I lost my goddamn voice, bro. I lost my goddamn voice. You accepted Chloe's request, 56% of us. You let Warren beat up Nathan, 40% of us. Chloe wounded Frank. No one got hurt. See, mm, I ain't know nothing about that one. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> All right, at least I'm in the the middle on that. If Victoria believed my warning, good fucking shit, bro. Nine percent of you niggas are crazy. Nine percent of you niggas are some dark people. I'm not gonna lie. You let the blue jay die. I don't know nothing about that. You disturbed the bird's nest. Didn't do that. You got Davis Fallon another way. Kate didn't help you? Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Kate didn't help you? This fucking Kate is dead, so. Um, you motivated Daniel to attend the... You didn't motivate Daniel. I wouldn't have told him to do that. No way. You left a message on Warren Slate. You didn't leave a message. Uh, you figured out Nathan's pin code. Uh, uh, you helped Alyssa. All right. Is Mr. Jefferson a Prescott? Is Nathan his son, Loki? Oh my gosh, dude. I can't believe Chloe just got checked out like that. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. I cannot believe Chloe just got checked out like that. The Mr. Jefferson is not Mr. Jefferson is not fucking with me. That shit is not fucking with me right now. I know it probably should. It isn't. What's fucking with me is Chloe getting checked out like that. Oh my gosh. Shorty. Shorty. What's fucked up about this is, in the way that this story goes, Chloe was going to die young regardless. Because in the other version of her life, she just had respiratory failure. In this version of life, a motherfucker just put her down, Joe. Fate had her dying young regardless. Fuck! Oh my gosh. 
I cannot believe what the fuck just happened. I can't believe that shit. Bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Alright, y'all. That was Life is Strange episode 4, man. Like if you fuck with it, bro. Like if you fuck with it, bro. Comment if you got any other games you want me to play. Subscribe for more content like this. I catch y'all niggas in the next one. Peace. Damn.